You've probably had an experience in your business in which conflict came up and mediation could have helped resolve it. But did you know where to turn? As realtors, you're governed by the code of ethics to address issues of conduct and commission disputes. However, other issues can potentially come up during transactions. For example, there may be conflicts between buyers and sellers about contracts or even differences between brokers and their agents. For these instances and any others that are not covered under the Code of Ethics, you can use the mediation services provided by the Bear County Dispute Resolution Center. Elena Terrell is the intake coordinator for the Bear County Dispute Resolution Center. Hi, Elena. Hi, good morning. Elena, can you tell us a little bit about what the center does? Sure, we're a county department and we offer mediation for anybody who lives in Bear County or any businesses in Bear County. And how would you describe Mediation is a voluntary, a common sense method of resolving problems without the expense or the hassle of going to court. Um, mediation brings the parties together with a mediator who is a neutral third party to the case that gets the disputants talking about what the problem is to see if they can come to an agreement. Okay. And what would you say are the advantages of using mediation? There are several advantages. Um, mediations are confidential. They're held in a secure, neutral setting. We can set them for the daytime or evening because we do like to work around people's schedules. They can be held in Spanish or English. And if there is a resolution, it's a win-win situation for everybody. And what this does essentially keeps you out of court. What type of disputes does the center generally handle? We handle landlord-tenant issues, neighbor right. disputes, family disputes, consumer merchant disputes, real estate disputes. And those cover quite a variety of types of topics. Is there any right. examples you would give of those? Sure, we handle, with the landlord-tenant issues, sometimes we have landlords calling us because rent's not being paid. And then, on the other hand, we have tenants calling us because repairs aren't being made or they haven't received their deposit back. We've got neighbor disputes, uh, the barking dog, tree limbs, fence lines, loud music. That's a good, good example of the kind of cases that we handle. So, you mentioned it a second ago, but just to reiterate, what are the requirements in order to receive the services from the Dispute Resolution Center? As long as somebody is a resident of Bear County or the businesses in Bear County, we can help them. And are there any fees or costs uh, incurred as, a, as an option of taking advantage of no, this? No, and that's the best part of the, the Bear County Dispute Resolution Center. It is a no-cost service. Um, you do not have to pay for the mediation. Okay, excellent. So once you receive a request for mediation services, what's the time frame from having the first meeting and ultimately having the issue resolved. Gilbert, once the paperwork is completed, we set the mediation for about two and a half to three weeks out, and there's really not a time frame on how long mediations take. It just depends on how long they can hopefully come to an agreement. So let's just say, Elena, I have an issue and I want to take advantage of this service. What is my first step? Sure, it's a very easy process. There's a packet that needs to be filled out, three easy papers that need to be uh, completed. You can come into the center, you don't need an appointment, come into the center, fill them out, and uh, somebody will sit down and speak with you, or you can get the paperwork online um, from our website. Excellent. If you want to learn more about how you can use the Bear County Dispute Resolution Center, visit their website at bear.org slash drc, or call 210-335-2128. Thank you, Elena, for being with us today. Thanks, Gilbert. And thank you all for watching.